Como ye. Praise the Lord. You have heard before that they call your father in the Lord, William F. Kumui. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's W-F-K. That means William the Fire Kindler. Fire. From on high is going to come in your soul. My son, my daughter, you will glow. There's a fire from the altar. And that fire from the altar will drop in your soul. Today, you will glow. You become a glow. All those who have been grounded, they're there. They turn this way, they turn that way. They don't achieve. I come to make achievers here today. The Lord's hand is going to touch you. The Lord's power is going to touch you. And we kindle the fire. We kindle the fire. And then you go out of this place. You will glow like never before. And the people that see you, they'll say, it's him. No, it can't be him. We know him now. It's her. No, it can't be her. We know her now. And you say, it's me. I said you will say, they'll say, what happened to you? Then you'll say, one man sent by God became the FK, the fire kindler, and now fire kindles in me. Young people, squire, are you there? Fire. Let me shout fire with your melodious voice. Will be kindled tonight. Young people, where are you? Help me shout fire. fire. Praise the Lord. We'll not only have only one person in Taraba, only ten, only a hundred, only a thousand, thousands of people. Young people, the fire of heaven will burn in your soul. Raise up that hand, you are a candidate. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray that you did something great, unforgettable, unprecedented, will happen in every life, everyone here, everyone there, everyone connected, in Jesus' name. Burn. Let that be glowing. Let your people grow. And everyone today, you lift them out of the dunk hill and you put them on the throne. Confirm it, Lord, in every life. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you. You've started glowing already. As we look at the word today, I'm talking to you on Jesus, a glow in true youthful believers. Number one, believers, those who come and they believe. Number two, youthful believer. It doesn't matter actually your age, you are 10, you are 15, you are 21. Youthful. What's that youthful heart is there? Youthful mind is there. You might even be 35 or 45 or even 60. The point is you're a youthful believer. You allow the spirit of the youth, the vision of the youth, the drive of the youth. You allow that to settle in you. You will go places you have never gone. You will do things you have never done. And you will achieve what you thought was achievable. 
all the past history of your life, at this point now, there's going to be a turning point. Jesus, a glow in true, youthful believers. Look at Psalm 71. I'm looking at verse 5. Psalm 71, verse 5. For thou art my hope, O Lord God. Thou art my trust from my youth. If you can make the Lord your choice, your trust, the fire that burns in you from your youthful days, from this time, it says, thou art my trust. I depend on you. I have confidence in you. You are my trust from my youth. Look at verse 17. In verse 17, O God, that was taught me from my youth. Not just taught by man, taught by, you know, our teachers in the classroom, they're good, and we thank God for them. But now it says, Thou, O God, you have taught me from my youth, and hitherto have I declared thy wondrous works. Wonderful work will take place in your heart today. In Colossians chapter 1, verse 27. Colossians 1, 27, it says, To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. God will make something known to you today. Why were you born? Why are you on earth? What are you to do? You've been looking down, now you look up. You've been looking around the mountain, mountain now you will look at the peak of the mountain. Because go this way, you will achieve. Go that way, you will achieve. Something unprecedented taking place this hour. This moment in your life. And now it says, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Let me explain Christ in you. Somebody comes to your house and you open the door. And you allow him to stay in the sitting room, living room. And until he leaves, he doesn't leave that place. But another person comes, you allow him into the living room, then you allow him into the dining area. That's small, that's small. And you sit down, and you fellowship with him. Another person comes, you allow him in the living room, you allow him in the dining, you allow him to come inside, 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 the, the, you know, the most inner part of the chambers in the whole house. What I'm saying is Christ in you, you are born again, Christ in you, present. But you say, I need more of him, and I need Christ to come in more. Is now not only present, is prominent. Christ in you, present. You go further, Christ in you, prominent. You allow him now to go further, and he sits on the very throne of your life, and he's directing, he's managing, he's organizing. Christ, prominent. When Christ comes in you, present. You allow him to come further, it's prominent. You allow him to come still further, preeminent, you will glow. I'm dividing the message to three parts. Number one, number one, the best of men are ground without him. The best of men here on earth, grounded at ground without him. Number two, the believers among men are glow through him. The people who know by myself, 
I cannot achieve much. And because of that, I become the believer that allows Christ to be present, prominent, and preeminent in my life. Believers, true believers among men, I glow through him. Number three, transcending blessings. That is the kind of blessing that goes beyond whatever you have had in the past. Something higher. Something greater. Something more glorious. Come into your life today in Jesus' name. Transcending blessings in me. Somebody shout in me. Transcending blessings in me. I thought I uh, 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 hear the sonorous, good, loud voice of my young people, my children in Taraba State, transcending blessings in me, glowing by Him. God bless you. God has had you here. Welcome, family. Look at number one the best of men. A ground without him. The best of men that you think about and you take them like your example. You take them like your hero. Yet, the best of those men, they are grounded without him. Look at Psalm 39. I'm reading from verse 5. This uh, psalm tells the Lord of the best of men, behold, thou hast made my days as an hand breath, and mine age is as nothing before thee. Then it says, verily, surely, I've been looking at them, I've been examining them, I've been reading their biographies, and it says, every man at his best stage, it's all together vanity. Then you see Sila. Sila then is pause and think about that. Think about that. Think about that. The best of men that think they've got something, they've achieved something, they're holding something. It says, man, at his best stage, it's all together vanity. I want you to look at John. Chapter 15, verse 5. John, chapter 15, reading from verse 5. It tells us, I'm the true vine, and ye are the branches, and he that abideth in me, it says, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. Much fruit. Where's the much fruit? Your life. Your work. Your profession. Then you see something very significant. But without me, ye can do nothing. For without me, ye can do nothing. Whatever you think you've done, without Christ, in comparison with what you can do, you in Christ, whatever you have done looks like nothing. I thought the number six was a great number because I went through the steps one, two, three, four, five, six, and said, Look at me, I got six until I brought that six side by side with 10 million. And then the six I thought was great became like nothing before you come to Christ. Everything you think you've got, everything you think you've achieved, you bring it in comparison with what you can achieve and do in Christ and everything looks like nothing. It says, but without me, he can do nothing. Number one, without him, you do nothing. Because, you know, 
Without him, you don't have the eyes of the eagle that you'll see very far. All that you see is the hill around here. And when you climb that hill, it's still like nothing that's different from climbing the highest to the peak of the greatest mountain here around you. Number one, without him, you can do nothing. Number two, without him, you can dare nothing. You'll not dare. Your your life will be like, you know, the French people say, come, say, come, sir. Like this, like this, like this, like that. And you don't dare anything. But it is when Christ comes in you. It is when the all-sufficient Christ comes in you. You do, you dare. And some other people will say, how could you do that? They say they cannot dare that. Yes, because they're not filled with Christ. And when you're filled with Christ and full of Christ, you will dare. From today, you'll dare something you have never tried. Number three, without him, you can destroy nothing. 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 You cannot destroy. You see all those things coming against your life. You see all those things beating against your life. Say, so what can I do? And, you know, we give you the promise that every plant which my heavenly father has not planted in your life, not planted in your career, not planted in your family, every plant will be uprooted. You see, I want that to happen. What can I do? Become like Jeremiah because God has set you up to pull down. Amen. Amen. To throw down. Amen. Amen. To destroy. Amen. Amen. Every walk of the devil in your life that you may not even know about, that destroy today in Jesus' name. Amen. With him. In him. Through him. Because without him, you can destroy nothing. Number four, without him, you can discern nothing. You look at opportunity. You think it is hindrance. You will not know that this is an opportunity. But as you go through life, this one comes and that one comes you discern because Christ is in you. When Christ is in you and with you and is walking through you, you can do. You can dare. You can destroy the works of the devil and you can discern. You look around and there's a voice that says, this is the way go therein. And that discernment will lift you up. Number five, without him, you can distill nothing. I'm sure you remember when you go to the lab, I will say we have distilled water. All impurity in that water taken away. All the us, O-R-E, taken away. And every blemish taken away. And the, the particles we didn't know were there we distill that water and all the impurities, everything will vanish away. You came here today that God will distill your life. I was waiting for a good amen. amen. Every impurity taken away from your life. Amen. All those, uh, you know, iron, whatever, that makes the water undrinkable, everything taken away from your life. And everything that will hinder your forward march, everything that will hinder, everything you ought to do to achieve, your life is distilled. And all those hindrances, in the name of the Lord, I confirm that upon you. Your life is distilled, made better today in Jesus' name. There's a verse, there's a verse in the Old Testament, in Job, that says when you push 
everything that is not right away from your life, it says you will pray and God will answer you. Amen. Not only that, you will decree a sin and it will be done unto you. From today, Satan will not decree anything in your life. From today, evil spirit will not decree anything in your life. From today, that old man in that corner that is jealous of you because for whatever reason, he says, look at this boy, look at this girl that was born, they say, just yesterday, and look at how fast it's growing. And then the decree, no, all, all the decrees in your life, against your life, they're silenced today. And you yourself now, the Lord is asking, like he asked Solomon, what do you want that I do for you? Then you look around. What should I ask? What should I point to? And the Lord says, I'm waiting for you. Decree a sin, and heaven will confirm it. But you know, the people that do not have Christ in them, present in them, prominent in them, Preeminent in them, they'll be stammering before the Lord. They don't know what they're going to decree. But today, I take that stammer out of your mouth. And you will decree a sin, and it shall be done. But without him, you cannot decree anything. You decree nothing. Number seven, without him. You destine nothing. You cannot say, I take the destiny in my hand and I am going there because I have him and therefore I can destine. And then I become a man of destiny. My daughter's there. You become a daughter of destiny. Any daughter of destiny there, you'll get there. With him, in him, through him, you can destine everything. And you see, that's where I'm going. Nothing will stop you. Nothing will stop me. But without him, what can you do? Without him, you do nothing. Without him, you dare nothing. Without him, you destroy nothing. Without him, you discern nothing. Without him, you distill nothing. Without him, you decree nothing. Without him, you destroy nothing. But turn the table around. He comes to live in you today. You will do. I will do. You will dare. I will dare. You will destroy. You will destroy. You will discern. I will discern. You will distill. I will distill. You will decree. I will decree. You will destiny. That destiny will be fulfilled. Whatever you reject from your life will not bother you. Whatever you desire in your life, it will come. It will come. Pastor, this is what I desire. Decree it now while we're here. And when you go out there, that decree will come to pass. We're coming to number two here. Number two, we're looking at true believers among men. I glow through him. True believers among men, I glow through him. 
you will glow. I said, you will glow. With the fire of heaven kindled in your soul. You will glow in Jesus' name. Christ in you. That makes you to glow. In Galatians chapter 2, reading from verse 20. Galatians 2 verse 20. It says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. Where is Christ living? I said, where is Christ living? He says, Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. You know, when I was much, much younger, I, I used to go around and I used to say, nobody loves me. Maybe you are there today and you are saying, I look at the whole wide world and nobody loves me. My friends, my classmates, my colleagues, they belittle me. They make fun of me. They say, there is nothing good that I can do. Nobody loves me. But now I discovered that Jesus, the all-sufficient Jesus, loves me. Say it for yourself. Who loved me and gave himself for me. Who loved me and gave himself for me. Now, we need to understand that what for. Actually, that what for. There's something he gave himself to me. It's like a rich man. It's not even giving you just money. He gives himself to you. It's like the most powerful person on earth. He gives himself to you. It's like the achiever maker. I will make you fishers of men. He gave himself to you. And today, Jesus gave himself to you. On the cross of Calvary, he gave himself for you. Now today, as you believe in him, the most powerful, the highest in the whole universe, now gives himself to you. You will do well. You will go higher. You become a glow. I, I become a glow. What does that mean? Number one, a glow of the righteousness of salvation. Amen. Amen. You believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. He gives the righteousness of salvation to you. Your life will glow with the righteousness of salvation. Number two, a glow with the radiance of the sun. A glow with the radiance of of the sun. Darkness is out of your life. Confusion is out of your life. Maybe, maybe not. That's away from your life in Jesus' name. Look at Malachi chapter 4 verse 2. Malachi chapter 4 verse 2. But unto you that fear my name shall the sun of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Arise with healing in his wings. As the sun of righteousness comes to you today, every part of your body, every part of your being will be healed in Jesus' name. 
and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Number two, then you are a glow with the radiance of the sun. Number three, a glow with the resources in its sufficiency. You become a glow with all the resources of his sufficiency because in the life of Christ, there is nothing he will say, I cannot do that. I cannot go there. I cannot climb that mountain. I cannot achieve that. He can. He will. And you can and you will. Somebody shout amen. amen. Second Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8. And God is able. And God is able. And God is able. Everything you thought you couldn't do, you were not able. Christ in you is able. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you. Able to make all grace abound toward you. That ye always having all sufficiency. All sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. That's your new story. That's your new history. The past when you are not able. Come on, do this, sir. I'm not able. Come on, go here, sir. I am not able. Study that, sir. I am not able from you know the earlier days of me being a student, I've always found that impossible. I'm not able. You'll be able. I said you. What is the you that I'm talking about? Amen. You will be able. Can you imagine somebody when he was without Christ? I remember the year. If I tell you the year, you say, wow, not long ago. So I'll not tell you the year. That was in the secondary school then, long, long ago. And it, they, we used to have three parts of mathematics, arithmetic, algebra, and geometry. And we did the exam. The first paper came, I got 5%. I thought that was bad enough. The second paper came, I got 24%. I thought that was bad enough. And the third paper came, geometry. And I got 0%. 5, 24, and 0. 29 over 300. It was like nothing. Can you imagine that such a boy that was not able later in life, I studied even higher mathematics. And I got first class. What I'm telling you is, where you got zero before, you are now coming near 100. You will be a glow. Number four, a glow with resemblance to the sanctifier. It makes you to resemble him. He recreates you to resemble him. He works in you that all those things that maybe put your mouth in dust before, he'll raise you up, he'll clean your mouth. You didn't say amen to that one. He'll raise you up and he'll make you to resemble him. Number five, a glow by the rising to significance. Arise. And you'll arise to significance. There's a difference between success and significance. There are people who succeed, but they're not significant. There are others who succeed, and they come to significance. And we see their names on the papers. 
We see their names in the encyclopedia. And we see their names everywhere. My son, my daughter, I pronounce upon you today, you will rise to significance. Number six, a glow. We, through resilience of steadfastness. You see, there are people just about the time that to cross over to that higher level, they get tired and they give up. Resilience means you stay there. You stick your neck out there. And you say, what Christ in me present? What Christ in me prominent? What Christ in me preeminent? I have resilience. I will be steadfast. You never give up. I said you'll never give up. I learned of a swimmer. It appeared he had to swim across to the other shore. It was in a competition. By the time he got to the middle, he was tired. And something said, give up. He told himself, just one stroke more. Another time, one stroke more. Tired, one stroke more. Weary, one stroke more. And as he went on like that, one stroke more, he got to the destination, he got to the shore. You will get to the shore. When you get tired, when it appears, you cannot take any step anymore, one step more. One stroke more, one examination more, one trial more. You'll be resilient, you'll be steadfast, you will achieve. Number seven, a glow by reflecting on the scriptures. A glow by reflecting on the scriptures. You meditate on the word of God and everything you do will prosper. If you know I'm talking about you, you say, Amen. Amen. In the strength of the Lord, the power of the Lord, by the Spirit of the Lord, from today, that sin you lay your hand on will prosper. Amen. We're coming to point number three now. Point number three. We're looking at transcending blessings in me, growing by him. Transcending blessings. What are you, whatever you've got in the past, you'll get more today. Whatever you achieved in the past, you'll achieve more from today in Jesus' name. With Christ aglow, in you, he'll make it happen. I said he'll make it happen. Transcending blessings in me, glowing by him. Look at Psalm 84, verse 7. Psalm 84, I'm reading there from verse 7. It says, they go from strength of strength. We're going to personalize that. I go from strength to strength. It will, be it will be to you according to what you say. I go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion. Appearance before God. As you appear before God today, you go from strength to strength. You go from glory to glory. You go from achievement to achievement. Let me tell you what that means. You're coming to Christ. Christ comes into you 
And Christ is present in you, prominent in you, and preeminent in you. What will happen? When looking at this, you'll be above, not abased. Amen. Yeah. Above. Above. You'll be above the stormy water. You'll be above all the enemies that try to put you down. A, above, not abased. B, better, not blistered. The life around you will not create blisters in your hand, in your mouth, in your eyes. All those internal wounds, even today, they're taken off in Jesus' name. See, you are converted and not corrupted. Society will not corrupt you. All the people that say we are corrupt and we are down, so let's corrupt him so he can be down. No way. I said no way. Converted, not corrupted. D, everywhere you'll be defended, you'll not be defeated. Defended, heaven will defend you. Angels will defend you. The power from on high will defend you. In every battle of life, you will not be defeated. E, elevated, not eliminated. They're looking for qualified people. They say, we need only three. And they are 37. Eliminate this one. Eliminate this one. They'll never eliminate your name. Elevated, not eliminated. F, forgiven, not forgotten. The Lord will forgive you. He'll give you grace. Your life will be beautiful. Heaven will have good record about you. And when they are distributing good, good things, you will not be forgotten. Forgiven, not forgotten. G, growing, not grounded. Your plane will not be grounded. Your vehicle will not be grounded. The motion of your life will not be grounded in Jesus' name. H, heaven, not hell. Where are you going? Not hell. I said, where will you end up? Heaven, not hell. I will not go to hell. I will not go to hell. Christ died for me. On the cross of Calvary, he is present in me. Where Christ is present, hell's doors are closed. I, invincible, not invisible. To be invincible means you are unconquerable. I'm looking for somebody there who will be unconquerable. I'm looking for somebody who is unbeatable. Where is he? Where is she? I'm looking for somebody there who is unstoppable. Because now from today, as Christ abides in you, you become invincible, not invisible. J, joyful, not judgmental. There are people that go about, they don't see anything good. They are not driving at their goal. All they are looking, they are looking around, they are judging this and judging this. But today, as Christ comes to live in you, and you live for him, joyful, 
there'll be joy in your life. I see that boy always gloomy, always sorrowful, always sad. And I get near, I say, why are you always sorrowful, always sad? Oh, he says, life is after me. Everything is after me. I say, but Christ can be inside you. And when Christ comes inside you, he'll take all sorrow away. All sadness away. All sickness away. Joyful, not judgmental. Okay. Kempt. K-E-N-P-T. Kempt. That means neat and tidy. Not unkempt. The Lord will reorder your life. I said the Lord will reorder your life. Everywhere you go, when you go for an interview, they say, this is the man. Take him. This is the lady. She must walk here. You will walk where you want to walk. Because you look like somebody kept, kept, and orderly. L, like him, not like them. Like him, like Christ, not like them. The Lord is changing everything that needs to be changed in your life today in Jesus' name. You'll be like him. The father will look at you and say, that's my beloved son. That's my beloved daughter. I'm happy with him. I'm happy with her. Heaven will be happy with you. Heaven will be happy for you. That you live on earth. And everything that goes along with your life, Heaven will rejoice because you are in this, our country. Amen. 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 Um, meaningful, not mean. Meaningful, not mean. You see, those who don't have Christ, they're mean in their utterances. They're mean in their actions. But you, from today, your life will become meaningful. And noble, not notorious. Your life is noble. I said your life is noble. When you carry something noble, you walk carefully. You think clearly. You look straightforward because you're carrying something noble. My son, my daughter there, that life you have now is noble. Carry it with dignity. Live it with dignity. Oh, overcoming, not overthrown. Overcoming and not overthrown. Nothing will overthrow your life. Accident will not overthrow your life. I wanted to be there before, but look at me now. Look at where I've landed. You will not regret anymore. Because now, your life, as Christ comes in you, you'll overcome, you'll not be overthrown. P, you'll be positive, not pessimistic. See the pessimistic people? That the people saying there's no way there where there's no way God will make a way for you. Other people say there is no success there. So and so did it and it failed. So and so did it, it collapsed. When you come to do it, you will succeed. Because you're positive and practical. You're not pessimistic. Kill. You're quickening, you're quickened, you're not quitting. I will not quit. I will not quit. You line up on a queue. 
And you expect she what you get when it gets to your turn. You have the dream of your heart fulfilled. And somebody comes and is looking at people. He gets to you on the queue. And he looks at you with a belittling sight. As he get out of the queue. You will not get out. Quit. You will not quit. Other people will say, we are better than you are. And we have not got it. Are you going to get it? Quit. I will not quit. I. 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 Will not quit. You stay there until you achieve. Are redeeming the time, not relenting. Redeeming the time. Every time you have, all the time you have, you make the best use of that. Every day, every day, every time. The time you have, I'm doing something profitable. I'm doing something that will contribute to my progress. It will happen in Jesus' name. S, sanctified, not sanctimonious. The people who are sanctimonious, they're the people that just act. <laughs> they are dramatizing. But the people that are really sanctified from the inside, Christ dwells in them the hope of glory. T, triumphant, not trampled. Nobody will trample you on the ground. God has not made a door march for anybody. You will not be a door march in your class. You will not be a door march in your office. You will not be a door march in your own stage. You will not be a door march in your nation. You will be triumphant. Who is the person there? Amen. The Lord put a mark of triumph on you in Jesus' name. You, you'll be useful, not unusable. There are people who are unusable. They're tall. They're whatever. But the language, the look, the dressing, the appearance makes them unusable. Not you. I said not you. Anywhere you go, oh, they say this is the material we've been looking for. Where have you been? Come on. You'll be usable in Jesus' name. You'll be useful in Jesus' name. V, vigorous, not vacillating. People who don't have a goal, and they do not have the peak they're driving at, they're vacillating. They say yes, then they say no. They say, I will. They say, I cannot. They say, I'm going there. They say, I don't think I can get there. They are all the time vacillating all that indecision in your life. The Lord takes it away in Jesus' name. Vigorous. Vigorous. Double you watching, not wondering. Watching, not wondering. You see, the people who have Christ in them, they wake up in the morning and they're watching. That thing I've been praying for may arrive today. That thing I ordered for may arrive today. That thing that will make my life spectacular may arrive today. Because of that, they are watching. They are not wondering about here and there. X, you are X failure. I said you have become X failure. 
or your failure is now in the past. Not ex success. I need an amen for that. Ex success are the people, former success. I used to be brother success, but now ex success. I used to be sister success, but now no more. But the Lord is bringing a new life into you. No more failure. Where are they? No more failure. All the failure is now X. Gone. Former. X failure. Now you are the present day success. An amen that brings it to you. Yoke with Jesus. Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me. For I am meek and lowly. It says you are yoked with him. You will be yoked with Jesus. You will not be yoked with Judas. You will not be yoked with Jezebel. Jezebel, get out of my way. Say that. Judas, get out of my way. Yoked with Jesus, not yoked with Jezebel or Judas. Said. Somebody shout, said. You started from A, you'll go to Z. You started from the beginning, you come to the very end. Your light will not be put out in the middle of the way. Your strength will not fail you in the middle of the way. At the commencement, you are there. At the culmination, you'll be there. We'll see you growing and growing and growing. You'll get to your peak in Jesus' name. Z, zealous for good. Zealous for good. Not zealous for greed. Not zealous for greed. You didn't say amen to that one. Zealous for good. Zealous for life. Zealous till the end. That zeal of the Lord is upon you from today in Jesus' name. Look at Deuteronomy now. Chapter 28. Deuteronomy. Chapter 28. And we're reading from verse 13, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 13. It says, And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. From this day, the Lord, the God of heaven, who has all the power, will make you the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only. Thou shalt be above only. Thou shalt not be beneath. If thou shalt hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. If you obey the word, allow Christ to be present. Allow Christ to be prominent. Allow Christ to be preeminent in your life. Above. 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 Not abased and not beneath. A new creation is taking place today. A new power is coming upon your life today. A change, a transformation is coming upon you today. Now you'll become. Become. 
become the one that God has appointed. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Why don't you stand up? And all these things you have heard, accept them. Assimilate them. Identify with them. That's what Christ you can do. What Christ you can dare. With Christ you can destroy the works of the devil. You can discern. You can distill. You can decree. You can destiny. Your destiny is now higher and higher and higher in Jesus name. It's bowed and eyes closed. Just keep standing there. You say, I want Christ to be mightily present in my heart. And I want him, if he's present already, to be prominent in my life. He's already present and prominent. I want him to be preeminent in my life in all I do. Raise up your hand. That's virtually like everybody. Christ present, Christ prominent, and Christ preeminent. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for all your sons and your daughters. I'm asking, O oh Lord, where Christ was absent, he'll be present in every heart right now. Lord, I pray, Christ will be preeminent and prominent in every life right now. And all these things you have proclaimed upon their lives, it will become true in Jesus' name. Sin, Lord, forgive all their sin. Sickness, Lord, take all their sicknesses away. Sorrow, Lord, take all their sorrow away. And any satanic attack, break every yoke in their lives in Jesus' name. From now on, they'll go higher and higher. From now on, they'll achieve more and more. From now on, nothing will bring them down. From now on, you go from strength to strength. You go from grace to grace. You go from faith to faith. You go from glory to glory. And everywhere you go, you'll be a glow in Christ. A glow for Christ. A glow through Christ. You will not remain at the same level you have always been. Go higher. Climb higher. Reach higher. And what you've never done, you will do. What you've never dared, you will dare. What you have never decreed, you will decree. Your life is on the forward march. Forward march. Forward march. An achiever in every area of your life. Lord, confirm it for every one of your people. Every son, every daughter, confirmation in your life. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray.